Well, a new report from the New York Times says millions of Americans are drinking dirty and sometimes toxic water. Records show that illegal concentrations of contaminants, including arsenic, radioactive substances, even back... Back now with our special series here this week about climate change. Over the past few days, we've seen the dangers of rising seas and melting glaciers. Well, tonight, it's rising temperatures in one of the hottest nations on Earth. Our report tonight from NBC's Martin Fletcher in Kenya. Climate change. You see it best from the air. Hundreds of miles of bare earth, dry rivers. On the ground, you feel it burning heat and getting hotter. And you smell the result. Hundreds of thousands of cows and goats dead and dying from hunger and thirst. After nine years of drought in northern Kenya, they're desperate. Villagers dig six feet below dry riverbeds trying to find fresh water. Instead, a stagnant pool. So thirsty, they drink anyway. Climate change makes a dangerous situation worse. Each year is hotter and drier. And when it finally rains, it's such a torrent that water washes away the best soil, making it harder to grow crops. The World Bank projects grain production in Africa will drop up to 25% in the next 10 years. It all adds up to a new kind of conflict. So they just came in and then they started shooting. Rival tribesmen wanted to steal Jeremiah Lemurini's land. It has more grass and a little spring with water. They didn't use their spears. For the first time, they attacked with automatic rifles. 33 dead, 21 villagers and 12 of their attackers. This is pretty horrific stuff, yeah, seeing the very... dead animals, many of them killed by bullets, and the others by drought. But it's just a part of the life in this village, in these conditions. And this could be their future, environmental refugees. The UN warns there could be as many as 250 million environmental refugees worldwide by 2050. Most of the refugees at this Kenyan camp escape war, some extreme weather in Somalia, Sudan and Ethiopia. For all, there wasn't enough water or food to support them. But even here at the Kakuma refugee camp, taps keep running dry. And when 17-year-old Nweli, a Somali refugee, went to the dry riverbed to look for water, locals chased her away. We are now begging for water. We are begging water. When did you last drink water? Since, since two days now. Herdsmen are used to traveling dozens of miles in search of pasture. But this is new, seeking grass in the parks of the capital, Nairobi. People have fled here too, seeking work and food. So many that food prices have more than doubled. The UN says 23 million people in Eastern Africa need emergency food aid. Food prices are at all-time highs. This is the worst situation that people have seen for the past 10 years. Back at Jeremiah's village, tribesmen gather at the common grave of their dead friends and pray. We're praying God for all good things. We're praying God for, for rain. We pray God for food. Trying to stay alive in a changing world. Martin Fletcher, NBC News, Samburu, Kenya.